In this video, I'm going to show you how to save a capture of your project from Design Space. Now, you're unable to save your project to a local file on your hard drive, like it's a Word document or an Excel document, because it is stored in the cloud in Design Space. But we can take a screenshot and save it for future reference or possibly to email to someone as a proof for the design before you complete the project. Now, there are third party tools that do this, such as Snagit. They do cost money, and there are some free tools. However, there is one free one built into Windows 7 and Windows 8 called the Snipping Tool. The way you get to the Snipping Tool is you can click on your Start button and go to All Programs, Accessories, and you'll find the Snipping Tool. You can also click the Start button, and under Search Programs and Files, start to type Snipping Tool, and it should come right up. Finally, the third way you can get to it is to click Start and Run, or hold down the Windows key and press R, and type in the word Snipping Tool. In Windows 8, you can find the Snipping Tool by going to the Metro Desktop, or the desktop where all the big square tiles are at, and you just start typing the word Snipping, and it will come up there as well. Now, before we use the Snipping Tool, I'm going to turn off my grid so that that is not part of my project uh, capture that I'm going to do. And so now I'm going to open the snipping tool. And when the new button is clicked, you'll see that your screen kind of goes gray. And when you draw your box around the area you want to capture, you'll see a nice clear picture. And when you let off the mouse, it will give you a preview. And you can do a few things here as well. You can annotate by writing on it. You can also highlight certain areas with the highlighter. You can erase those with the eraser tool. You can even copy it to your clipboard to paste it into another program like Photoshop or Microsoft Word. And you can also email it directly to a recipient from the snipping tool. It will open your default email program. But I'm going to save it. I'll save it to my desktop as a JPEG. Your choices are PNG, GIF, JPEG, or an HTML file. I'm going to save it as a JPEG. And now I can close the snipping tool and minimize design space, and here is my final capture. If you're interested in my support services or consulting services, please visit my website at www.troyyoung.com for most current pricing information. Additionally, you can go to patreon.com slash troyyoung to help support my channel. Hopefully my video has been helpful to you. If it has been, please subscribe to my channel and by all means, please share my videos.